I am cutting bias tape, well, not bias tape, just bias, not making it into bias tape. I am repairing a hoop petticoat, cage crinoline. As you can hopefully see, well, it's on the in other inside. There's cracking along here, and I'm going to wrap this with bias that I soak in a combination of white glue and water. Kind of got the idea from the old uh, things I did with Mod Podge. I draped fabric over a doll form to make Christmas ornaments. Hopefully this will work just as well. No idea if I'm in focus or not. So, this just wraps around and around and around. Oops, maybe. Okay. There's different ways to... Sometimes I start it one way. I like this way, that way. Angle better because the catches it so it doesn't come loose. But you can see some of those upper ones, the very end, I fasten with a plastic clothespin so that it dries without popping up. The glue is a little bit thin, so it doesn't really stick together. And if you find when you take the uh, clothespins off that they're still popping up, then full strength glue will glue it down really well. Okay, so I've got this section wrapped. This doesn't add very much weight. We tried it like adhesive bandage tape and it worked okay, but it was pretty thick and heavy. I don't like to cross over the rivets there. And problem though was that when I tried to get replacement, I couldn't really find any. I looked and looked and looked for the fabric adhesive fabric stuff and that just wasn't to be found. The stuff I got was actually more of a plastic bandage which it may work on bodies but it didn't stick to itself well enough for this application. I usually do this between my two fingers, not my finger and my thumb. And I'm often neater than that, so come over here and overlap. This, I know this doesn't look like it needs it, but the fabric that covers the steel in this is starting to crack. I don't know how made in the factory, what they coat it with, you know, to hold it in place if it's just starch like buckram or not. But it does come unglued. Like I said, I like to go behind. Stretch that a little bit extra. Oops, it's still going to come over. Uh, trying to find a place you might be able to see where they can oh, see there how it the metal is cracking out. I don't know how to turn the camera off with glue on my fingers, so I will just have to keep running. And I'm not being as careful as I could. The first petticoat I did today, I did hardly dripped at all. I always just wipe it off, put it back in, try to waste, not, what, not. Okay. That one starts, the other one on the back, I'm going to put it exactly over. And you can wrap either way, I sort of sometimes bring it from the back to the front and sometimes from the front to the back. That little piece you may have noticed with the multiple clothes pins. What I 
did there was I just put some, I just glued those two pieces together because they were only slightly cracked open. And that's kind of an experiment to see if I put this glue on the fabric without the bias, will it hold it together? But really, if the wire is showing through or threatening to, I definitely want to wrap it with the bias stuff. We tried twill tape and the thin stuff wrapped pretty well, but it um, didn't well, it went around and around and around and around. But you get twill tape in uh, one inch length and it doesn't go around and around nearly as easy. It had a lot more ridges and because it was a very heavy twill tape then it added more weight to the hoops and with the petticoats that they wear over them and the amount of fabric that's in those and the skirt that's just not a good idea and when I get to the end of this one I'll have to check and see if I have if I want another one because this side looks pretty good on as we continue on I tried using a really light fabric batiste scrap that we had. That did not work so well because it really, really wanted to stick to itself. So this is just what we I'm going to go do coats, another though. one because that one's starting to crack open over there. But since I've got to the end here, I'm not going to continue past that. I'm going to start over here.